Okay, hello and welcome everybody. It's the same servant. It's the 7th of April, it's 6 o'clock. In this video I'm gonna hit a leg workout and right now I'm just having breakfast which is 200 grams of brown rice. There's, uh, I don't know how to say, about 100 grams of tofu in it as well. Two tablespoons of sour cream and then, yeah, there's just some like cumin, coriander, smoked paprika, nutritional yeast, soy sauce, onion powder and a few other things in this. So I'm gonna mill this now and then, yeah, gonna go smash a leg workout after this. So feel free to like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you wanna see more. So yeah, I'll see you soon in the shed. It's gonna be a good one. Okay, I'm just after my workout there and it's 4 to 9, so I have a class at 9. Uh, I'm gonna make this and then. No, it's already made. I'm gonna have this and then uh, I'm gonna go to my class. I don't think I have my room for like 11 or 12, so. Basically, yeah, no, I'll just stay in classes until I probably have another meal later on at like. Three. Usually I'd have this meal at 11 but I thought I can eat it now so it's basically just oats. There's dates in it, some pineapple, some kiwis. And there's one kiwi, there's some pineapple, there's some dates yeah. uh, and there's no almond milk left, there's some soy milk. That's why it's a bit dry looking there, it's 100 ml short but uh, yeah there's some cinnamon. Uh, I could have thrown an apple in it. I don't um, usually have apples in the porridge now. But yeah, no, the dates are essential as a natural sweetener. There's 60 grams in this, so that's like two servings. And I'll uh, give it a little taste now, see what it's like. Yeah, that's well. Um, you have to love the fact that because it's dry and then when you point into like the pieces of fruit and they're just forcing the flavour and enough moisture to like help you chew up the rest of your oats but yeah I'm gonna mill this and then yeah I'll probably have a meal at one then if I'm not since I'm two hours uh, forward in schedule I suppose but uh yeah um, I'll probably have a smoothie ball later or depends, we'll see when it comes to it. But anyway, yeah, there's probably about if it's 900 calories of oats, that's 200 grams of oats, and then the soy milk was 400. There's about like 100 calories in that, that's a thousand calories. Then there's a the kiwi and sultana, so it's, it's probably about 1200 to 1300 calories. And then the meal I had this morning was similar. About 1, 1,200 calories. So, and then how much protein would I guesstimate that's in this? I'd say it's about, there's 14 in the oats, so probably about 17 to 20, 25 max. And then the meal I had this morning, there was broccoli in that I forgot to mention. Um, there was about 100 grams of broccoli, that's 3 grams of protein. I know it's not much, but all adds up when they. Uh, if you know like how much protein is in which vegetables but the rice was 14 grams so it was 200 so that's 
17 grams and then all the herbs and spices so it could have been 20 to 25 as well like so you only need 20 to 25 grams of protein uh, some say like you can get across three meals some say like I think ideally five meals is best but I'm still eating three meals at the moment so um, yeah I'm gonna try up with the five because I could definitely eat five meals a day I, I could make them uh, not as big so that I could uh, try and diversify what I'm getting in more but um, yeah gonna eat this gonna wash this and then yeah I'll season this so Okay, and for meal number three, I have a few different things here, but I just made lentils and soy chunks, right? So, don't usually have soy chunks. Uh, these are a different type of soy chunk because the last ones I got, it could also be because I didn't cook them in the Instant Pot, but they sort of taste like dog food. But these are really nice, they're like chicken. Um, yeah, so it's basically just what I had for breakfast, like all the seasoning. Uh, with the lentils and then the soy chunks then I made some sprouts there then these are cauliflower wings from made them the other day these ones were crispened up in the air fryer which gives them a bit of a boring taste so they're not as nice as the ones like that I made in the oven they were a lot nicer uh, and then there's a bit of kibosh that a bit of cabbage you know just throw it on my plate looks like uh, a fair amount but I'll give a shot of these cauliflower wings. See if they're any use again. Uh, they are right. They're not as good as the ones out of the oven. Because for some reason, the air fryer chairs like the batter, which is only gram flour. Uh, and then there's a few flavorings in it as well. Um, yeah. Wait, right. had some of this earlier, but you are rolling around, bro. Okay, yeah, I'll taste the uh, lentils. Lentil curry with side chunks. No way, I'll uh, Lentils are a bit undercooked or overcooked because uh, I left it for like 40 minutes after it was done. But like you can leave it in the instant pot when it's cooked because it just uh, will maintain the heat in it and it will keep cooking it if uh, only slightly like. But. Mmm. I know there's about 50 grams of protein in the 200 grams of lentils. The soy chunks is 100 grams, so there's 50 grams of protein in these as well. That's about 100 grams of protein plus in this meal, so like I wouldn't usually eat that much protein. I just wanted to have these soy chunks. I keep saying soy chunks, that's the most I've said soy chunks in a, in a while. But anyway, oh yeah, I'll give a spray a go. Yeah. I just chew them in the Instant Pot the sprouts, but uh, if you do them, if you boil them in salty water, right, they're the best sprouts you're ever going to get. At least that's what I think. Because um, I ate a whole bag of sprouts there like uh, a few weeks ago, but when you do them that way, I could probably go through a few bags a week, uh, which is what you want. Knocked over the light on the way over. Come here, come here. Here's a lamp under. there. Yeah, I put this in my fitness pal. I said it came out to about 3,000 calories, what I've had today so far. Um, this is probably down about like, there's like about 750 calories in the lentils. And then everything else adds up to about 1,000, 1,200 as well. Um, so it's probably about between 3,000 to 3,500 I'm having today. Uh, whereas if you do have a run and you're burning like 1,200 calories, then you get to eat just another whole meal for free. So if you like eating food, like me, uh, that's one of the things that motivates me to run or not calories. It's just like, oh yes, man, I could have like uh, t a bag of cashews, that's 200 grams. So that's about 1200 calories or uh, 300 grams of brown basmati rice curry or pasta, pesto pasta, whatever you're into. But, and anyways, um, 
yeah that's gonna be it for this video everybody i hope you enjoyed and yeah thanks for watching much love everybody peace and see you in the next one thanks for watching bye bye see you in the next one